Hey, thanks for checking out my quick little Anchorage videos. I uh, just want to share my experiences and what information I have in all these cool little Anchorages all throughout the Raggeds and the Bahamas. If you like the videos, do me a favor and like them because it really does help out. And also share them with our fellow sailors so I can get some comments back and what I should add or take away. Have a great day. All right, so you're thinking about coming on down to Jamaica Key here in the Raggeds. It's kind of a cool island. Uh, you have beaches on one side, rocky shore on the other. A nice uh, anchorage surrounded by a lot of little islands um, and it's an interesting kind of spot and it doesn't really get a lot of attention down on the ragged so as you can see here we're the only boat in the anchorage um, but I want to talk to you about the approach and where to drop the anchor all right so you're thinking about going down to Jamaica Key uh, kind of a neat little stop totally worth stopping it and not a lot of notes to look up and see how you get in there and get out of there um, but now that we've done it I can tell you it's it's not super difficult at all so just a couple quick things about our boat we have a caliber 38 uh, with a 5.5 draft um, let me just hit on weather really quick for this particular anchorage yeah you're gonna want calm weather wind out of the east preferably out of the southeast um, would be ideal. Uh, anything out of the northeast is going to combine with the current that comes through here and it's going to become quite rolly. Now as far as the um, approach, uh, it's a very simple approach. We came directly from the west heading east, came right in here right below that and there's tons of depth. You got plenty of depth, probably 25 feet uh, all the way up until you get to the little anchor mark here on my spot and I think we anchored in uh, 13 feet of water. You can also come in from the top here and again plenty of depth all the way in down to this anchorage or you can stop at this anchorage up here. If you look over here on the right uh, picture on the right you can see the sandy area. There's a sandy area up on the top. This is the sandy area that we were in um, on the bottom. Uh, what, we, what I like about this is it's good solid sand down there. There is some grass so make sure you dive on your anchor and you've uh, dug into the sand really well uh, in both those spots. We got stuck in a squall, 35 knot winds for an hour, and we didn't budge. So uh, I don't recommend being in there during a squall. wasn't any fun, but we, we handled it. So with that, um, you can see, like I said, the approach is pretty simple. You got plenty of depth. Um, and, you know, as, as long as you have a good solid uh, set anchor, you're going to be fine in there and be able to go check out the island, which is totally worth doing. So watch my other video on that when it comes out. But hopefully this helps you make a good anchoring decision and, um, and check out this little island. I think it's uh, overlooked quite a bit. Have a great day.